We're going to jump into the next question. And the next question comes from another returning guest, Mr. Lee Lewis. Now, he has a very interesting question that I never thought about until now. He it said, hey, be. guys, it seems like Hollywood is really doing a Mario movie. <laughs> I'm not a fan of video game movies, but do you think the studio is making a mistake and making a Mario movie. Thank you for your question, Lee. Now, Lee, I'm not going to lie to you. I was not going to answer this question because uh, if anybody who's ever played Mario in my, and Jeremy, correct me if I'm wrong, because you've been on this earth longer than I have. Okay. Um, Mario has never had a through, like a through line storyline. It's basically an experience. You jump in and you play get mini games within the main game, it, whether it's Mario Kart, Mario Party, Super Mario Brothers, Mario Galaxy. I mean, Mario, Mario has never been a, like, again, a storyline. Like, you could say Sonic had a storyline because Sonic actually had dialogue in the games. Mario, aside from key catchphrases, you didn't really hear him speak. As a matter of fact, I can't think of anybody except for maybe Peach on occasion talking, really. So when I heard that Chris Pratt and a bunch of other great, great voice, great actors who have done voice acting being a part of this work, I feel like they're going to like change up the narrative of what Mario is. I think this animated movie is going to be a very... I want to say adult centric, but a young adult centric Mario movie that we've never seen before. Now, I haven't seen the original live action. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I have seen the original live action movie. It is a trash movie, but I think it's kind of it's as I watch it older. It's actually kind of funny watching it because I'm looking I'm watching it now. I'm like, damn, they spent all that money to make this trash movie. But it's it's an enjoyable, funny watch. And I, I feel like as an adult. You, you kind of appreciate it more as it gets older. Um, but to give you my honest take, do I think that Hollywood is making a big mistake? Um, partially, yes, but partially, no. I think that if they, can take, if they can take that IP and change it into a different form where, like, Mario's dropping F-bombs and <laughs> cussing and saying, all, I would watch that. I would watch that. Now, I, I, I'll say, before I pass it to Jeremy, I'm seeing some people online who are basically saying they need to bring back the original voice actors of Mario in order for this to be a real, authentic Mario movie. And I understand, okay, I'm going to be honest, I don't understand where they're coming from with that because Mario does not talk <laughs> at all. He says, so, it's me, Mario. Exactly. Like, and <laughs> If you have a problem with the, I've heard people say, which is another idiotic thing that I heard someone say, the people that they cast are not voice actors. Do y'all realize that Chris Pratt has done the Lego movie, Onward, and a few other Disney property movies Big as a movies. voice actor? Yeah. So has Seth Rogen. Yep. So has the other people a part of that cast have done voice acting work. Just because you're an actor and your profession, your main profession is not voice acting, doesn't mean they haven't done it before, especially in notable things. So this notion to bring back the original cast of voice actors for the game is idiotic because they never said anything while while doing any iteration of the games. But anyway, um, Jeremy, what do you think about Hollywood making a Mario movie? And do you think that this is a mistake on Hollywood's part? Dude, I love everything about this story. Everything about this story is so just dumb, dude. And I love it. I love the I love the fact that we're having controversy over a Mario Brothers movie. Uh, I do, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. Like right. I am an, a Nintendo apologist in a way that few other people are. I grew up with this console. Like that was my introduction. Well, I mean, I played the 2600 Atari before that. But as far as like my gaming experience, it started mm -hmm. in 1988 with a 8-bit Nintendo. I've followed them. I had all the way up to the GameCube and I, I didn't get the Switch or anything more lately. But I, I really do love uh the nintendo as a console uh mm -hmm. zelda is the nintendo property that i would be interested in seeing the world explored like there is a story there and to your point alex like uh mario 64 it 
kind of has a plot, kind of, but it's not at all related to Mario Galaxy. It's not at all related. Like, they're all exist in this their own little pocket, it seems like. Now, maybe there's a Mario theorist out there that knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. Mm -hmm. But in my experience, yes, it's been a very experience-driven game. Mm -hmm. uh, the casting for this new one is, is great. I mean, yes. like... I want to go down and list a couple of them because, dude, there are so many like mm -hmm. impressive actors in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I open up Entertainment Weekly and it wants to show me one actor at a time. No, <laughs> no, I'm not going to scroll through that. Let's see. Um, but yes, it's on Seth IMDb. Rogen's playing Bowser, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie Day is playing Luigi. Mm -hmm. I love him from uh, from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We got Fred mm -hmm. Armisen in uh, Anya Taylor Joy is playing. Princess Peach, Keegan and Michael Key is playing Toad. Mm -hmm. Sebastian Maniscalco, very Italian or mm -hmm. Sicilian, mm -hmm. is playing Spike. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong. Actually, uh, Jack Black is Bowser. So yeah. I mean, dude, this is a this is a fun cast. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Does it, it? It doesn't matter really who is voicing the characters because I feel like. Mario itself is kind of the driving force that's going to make audiences go to it. So they've spent a lot of money to secure this cast that I don't really know how much mm -hmm. it matters. I did see, like, I was watching uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live mm -hmm. the day before yesterday, night before last, and Jimmy Kimmel was showing a bunch of tweets of uh, these people are upset that they didn't cast actual Italians to voice Mario <laughs> and Luigi. And I'm reading the tweets and I'm like, dude, this is exactly what I did. They're trolling. They don't <laughs> care at all. They just thought it was a funny thing to say because Mario is a terrible racial stereotype of an Italian person who cares. Uh, so anyways, I say that to say John Luke was on the original Luigi came out yesterday and for real, this time and <laughs> and said uh, blast the movie for its lack of diversity and it's like dude we're talking about animated cartoon characters who cares about the i, I just i don't get it man i don't get any of uh. it so the narrative has become people are upset that chris pratt was is cast as mario when i would venture to bet that there is not one Italian person other than apparently John Leguizamo, who may or may not be Italian. I don't even know mm -hmm. uh, that actually gives a shit about any of this. So uh, <laughs> I don't care about the Mario Brothers movie. I'll watch it just because it's out. But as far as like as far as I'm concerned, they could have made 20 animated CGI Mario movies already. And I wouldn't have cared. They could have all went straight to VOD. And mm -hmm. there's a dozen children's Mario Brothers movies out there. And I never would have watched them. So I don't I don't really care about this either. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, he he makes Jeremy makes an amazing point. They could have made 20 Netflix Mario originals and they could be directed towards kids or young adults. And we wouldn't care. I mean, they've done it with Pokemon. They've done it with yeah. other properties that are, that are on Netflix. And it's just like, who cares? I mean, they've reanimated He-Man so many times. I mean, and yep. don't get me wrong. He-Man's a good property, but I'm like, eh, you know, I'm like, it's, it's okay <laughs> yeah. for what it is. Yeah. But I think this notion, the, the, this notion that they have to be Italians or this notion that, oh, there are no black characters in Mario. When has there ever been? Yeah. When? Yeah. I, I guarantee you, though, there are plenty of black people who still play Mario. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. So this yes. notion of people are getting upset. Oh, they're not casting the original cast. Or none of them are Italian. Oh, Chris Pratt's a terrible voice actor. Really? The Lego movie was amazing. Lego movie was funny. Onward, his character in Onward was hilarious. So this notion that, oh, Chris Pratt, I don't want, I don't want um, Star-Lord voicing my Mario well, you've never heard <laughs> Mario talk. Yeah. Like, yeah. So what are you talking about? Like, it'd be different if you were saying, oh, well, I don't want Chris Pratt voicing Sonic because we've had different iterations of Sonic talking there. Now, I could I could see that. But like, really, I just think that this 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 troll culture is literally nitpicking every little thing that doesn't make sense. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this this uh, Mario game is worth watching? Are you guys excited about the cast? And are you interested to see a different take on the character? Jump into the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts.